Listen to your preferred news feeds with Odiogo.com. Obama has now increased debt more than all presidents combined. The Obama administration passed another fiscal milestone this week, according to new data released by the Treasury Department. As of the close of business on October 3, the total national debt was $14,837,099,271,196.71, up about $44.8 billion from September 30th. That means that in the less than three years Obama has been in office, the federal debt has increased by $4.212 trillion more than the total national debt of about $4.1672 trillion accumulated by all 41 U.S. presidents from George Washington through George H.W. Bush combined. This $4.212 trillion increase in the national debt means that during Obama's term the federal government has already borrowed about an additional $35,835 for every American household or $44,980 for every full-time private sector worker. According to the Census Bureau there were about 117,538,000 households in the country in 2010, and, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were about 93,641,000 full-time private sector workers. When Obama was inaugurated on January 20, 2009, according to the Treasury Department, the total national debt stood at $10,626,877,048,000 and 8 cents. At the end of January 1993, the month that President George H.W. Bush left office, the total national debt was $4.1672 trillion, according to the Treasury. Thus, the total national debt accumulated by the first 41 presidents combined was about $44.8 billion less than the approximately $4.212 trillion in new debt added during Obama's term. As of Monday, Obama had been in office 986 days, or about 32 and a half months. During that time, the debt increased at an average pace of $4.27 billion per day. Were that rate to continue until Obama's term ends on January 20, 2013, the debt would then stand at about $16.86534 trillion, an increase of more than $6.2 trillion for Obama's four years. That would equal nearly $53,000 for each American household or more than $66. OO for each full-time private sector worker. The total national debt did not exceed $6.2 trillion until 2002, when George W. Bush was president. Source-related posts <laughs>